Let's take a look at some performance valuation measures for the firm. Now it's important to be able to do this because we need to evaluate how well management is doing running the business. This is important for bonuses, this is important for allocating capital to different divisions of the uh, corporation. So it's um, important to have some measures. So the first measure we'll talk about is something referred to as return on invested capital, or ROIC. And it shows how much net operating profit after taxes, so-called NOPAT, is generated by each dollar of invested capital or each dollar of invested operating capital, which consists of net working capital and fixed operating capital, such as plant and equipment. So ROIC is just going to be um, net operating profit after taxes divided by operating capital. So again, it tells us how much net operating profit is generated for each dollar of invested capital. And you calculate NOPAT by taking EBIT, earnings before interest and taxes, and just multiplying by one minus the tax rate. Now another common measure that's used to determine how well management is doing is something referred to as market value added, MVA. And it's the difference between the market value of the firm's stock and the cumulative amount of equity capital supplied by shareholders. So shareholders have supplied a certain amount of equity capital, which we can find on the balance sheet, and the firm's stock is worth something. Okay? Hopefully it's worth quite a bit more than the amount of um, equity capital supplied by shareholders. So MVA is just the difference here. So you take the market value of the so stock, and you subtract the equity capital supplied by shareholders. Market value of the stock is just the shares outstanding times the stock price minus the total common equity which we can find on the balance sheet. Um, sometimes we like to use market value added instead of looking at just the market value stock we look at the total market value. So that's going to be the market value of the stock plus the market value of the debt minus the total investor supplied capital and that would be again the equity capital supplied by shareholders and the debt supplied by debt holders. The final measure um, I want to mention is something referred to as economic value added EVA and it's a measure of the dollar surplus value created by an investment and the concept was created by Joel Stern formerly of the consulting firm of Stern Stewart. So it's computed as the product of the excess return made on an investment and the capital invested in that investment. So you can see here EVA is the net operating profit after taxes so we get no PAT again but we're going to subtract out total net operating capital times the weighted average cost of capital. So this turns out to be the after-tax uh, after tax dollar cost of capital used to support operations. So we want to see how much net operating profit after taxes we're generating after we account for the cost of capital that's used to support these operations. It's important because it considers capital costs. And what it does is it encourages management to reduce working capital or to improve plant returns. Uh, the capital charge represents the amount of no PAT profit that a company needs to earn to pay the interest due on the borrowed capital after taxes. Okay. It establishes a target for no PAT that automatically rises or falls as more or less capital is invested in the business. So a firm that can use less capital, less working capital, can um, improve its, its, um, its economic value added okay, if no pat, even if no pat doesn't change. So let's take a look at a quick example here. In this example we're going to assume that there are no taxes but assume that sales are 1250. So what, is, what do sales measure? Sales measure things like customer satisfaction, innovation, growth, Okay. That's why people buy your product. Minus the operating costs, um, 
what does that measure? It measures things like the pricing power that the firm has. Does, is the firm able to negotiate lower prices? Okay. Um, so we get no PAT. After we subtract that, in this case it's 150. Now we want to calculate this cost of uh, dollar cost of capital. So we're going to assume a weighted average cost of capital of 10% and net business assets or operating assets of 1,000. So that's going to be 10% of 1,000 or 100. So in this case, the economic value added is 50. So if the firm can, for example, reduce its um, working capital, let's say by 200 here, they would be able to increase their economic value added. So this has become a, a very popular measure in the business world in terms of measuring performance, in terms of doling out bonuses. Um, it's uh, quite popular and um, gets used widely.